10 Iconic Parenting Techniques That Haven't Changed Since the Stone Age 1. Keeping Kids Busy with Art Stone Age parents didn't have iPads, but they had cave walls. Archaeologists found kid-sized finger marks in French caves. These ancient doodles show parents encouraged artistic expression. They probably said, go draw on the walls instead of stop drawing on the walls. 2. Baby Wearing Today's parents have ergonomic carriers. Cave parents had arms and maybe some animal skins. They carried babies everywhere. It kept the little ones safe and gave parents free hands for berry picking. 3. Supplementing with bottles. Even cave moms needed a break from breastfeeding. Archaeologists found 5,000-year-old clay bottles. These bottles had traces of animal milk. They weren't modern baby bottles. They resembled prehistoric sippy cups. The oldest ones date back to the Bronze Age. 4. Positive Parenting Spanking wasn't in the Stone Age playbook. Studies suggest our ancient ancestors preferred gentler methods. They cuddled, carried and comforted their kids. Timeouts weren't a thing. There wasn't really anywhere for a timeout in a cave. 5. Breastfeeding and baby led weaning Modern moms might debate about extended breastfeeding, but cave moms were committed to this practice. They nursed kids until age 3 or 4. They didn't need fancy bottle warmers. This long-term nursing might explain why our brains got so big. 6. Community Playtime Prehistoric kids didn't have scheduled playdates. Every day was a playdate for them. Children of all ages played together. They learned life skills for play. There were no plastic toys. They used sticks, stones, and imagination. It was like the original Montessori school, but with more dirt. 7. Responding to cries. When Stone Age babies cried, parents responded. The cry it out method didn't exist for them. Their instincts were backed by survival needs. They believed in immediate comfort. After all, a crying baby could attract predators. 8. Allo parenting. It takes a village was a Stone Age reality. Babies were passed around the community from day one. Everyone pitched in to raise the kids. This practice had many benefits. It exposed children to diverse skills. It strengthened community bonds. This collective approach to child care ensured the survival and thriving of the group. 9. Guiding while allowing freedom. Stone Age parents were all about guided freedom. They let kids explore but kept a watchful eye. Cave art shows adults guiding children's hands in drawing. Anthropologists observed that in some tribes, young children used sharp tools. They participated in potentially dangerous activities. Parents supervised, but didn't interfere unnecessarily. This freedom helped children become confident and capable. 10. Grandparents as caregivers. When cave parents went hunting or gathering, grandparents took on babysitting duties. Elders were the original daycare centers. They passed down wisdom, told stories, and probably spoiled the kids. Some things truly never change.